still looking at um, I'm still looking at um, reverse color and sleeve. Why I would want to switch to that? Let's just say I'm playing color and sleeve here. We just turn this way. I want the triangle, so I'm on my left hip. I would be getting inside control with my right foot. I move from my left hip to my right hip. Notice the way Brian's right elbow comes slightly away from his body. From there, I pull on the collar, I pull on the sleeve, it gives me the triangle trap every single time. Okay, I'll just let's keep doing this way a little bit. Now, Brian can close that down by going to combat base. And really depends on where his elbow positioning is. He's on the inside, you can also bring it to the outside. Or some people keep it on the knee, but usually on the inside of the outside. So from here, when he brings it to the inside, there's just no way okay, I'm going to um, get into the triangle now. I can't get into the one arm in, one arm out scenario. So we want to switch to reverse collar and sleeve from this position. So I let go of the collar, I find a two on one. And now from there I can start to drop my knee down and bring my hand inside. And now I have an open elbow from here. But even if Ryan still connects his knee to his elbow and he has it on the inside, I can basically just start climbing with my legs, keeping my grip at the clavicle and now the pressures we talked about, pushing on the shoulder, pulling on the sleeve, flurring of the elbow and I will use that to get into the triangle trap and now we have the triangle. If I'm struggling here and say Ryan's got his elbow on the inside one thing we can do about it is we make the grip okay. my hand comes to the inside we can work the position so the two, the two things that stop in the triangle is ryan's got elbow connection for, with his um, elbow to his knee he's also postured postured up perfect so i just put my butterfly hook in here and now i'll use that as an off balance foot comes on the hip and we're straight into the triangle trap again. Um, if he's got like the colour and sleeve, and I'm playing my position, and he brings his elbow to the outside, perfect. So now from this position, I still switch to um, reverse collar and sleeve. So I make the two on one grip. If my knee's in the way to make that grip, I'll just drop it down. But notice the way, because Ryan's elbow's on the outside, the butterfly hook is in there. But I'm in shin to shin. So now we make reverse collar and sleeve again. Foot's coming up again. And the pressures that we talked about last time. Pulling on the sleeve. Pushing on the collar. Pushing on the shoulder. And the flurring of this. But I also have shin to shin guard. So see the way Ryan's left hand is basically stopping me from getting my um, leg over his right shoulder. Or his left shoulder. My right leg over his left shoulder. Just shin to shin. Watch. If he doesn't post... I'm coming up on top. Foot comes on the hip. Open elbow. And we're into the triangle trap again. And we're in. So this ability that we want just for climbing. The other thing I want to be thinking about. So that's on the inside. That's on the outside. Sometimes if I'm playing reverse collar and sleeve. And Ryan just connects his knee to his elbow. So one thing I can be thinking about is when I switch to reverse collar and sleeve. I'm thinking about using the inside of my left knee just to climb. I can climb all the way up. If I use those pressures of pushing on the shoulder, flaring of the knee, the let me climb, bro. I can use that to basically climb up into the triangle job. And again, from that position, we know how to finish. So whether they have their elbow here or here, or here we have three methods either butterfly hooking get them to off balance shin to shin get them to off balance or if it's just knee to elbow we can start climbing from reverse collar and sleeve into the triangle trap